Every year, Sparkfun Electronics has hosted the AVC, or the Autonomous Vehicle Competition. This year is the sixth year of the competition. Over the years, it has changed and evolved into the competition that we have today. The venue has changed, but ultimately the goal is the same. The competition is split into two classes. We have the ground competition and we have the aerial competition. And in both cases, we require the vehicles to navigate a course that's predetermined completely autonomously. Along the way, they can pick up some bonus points and whoever gets the most points wins the competition. When we first came up with the idea for AVC, the concept sounded simple. Take a robot, program in some GPS coordinates, add a couple sensors, and have it go around a track. But what we found is that it's a lot more complicated than it seems. Every year we have people approach this competition from many different angles. Some succeed, some do not, but everyone has a slightly different take on how to accomplish the goal. When we started this competition six years ago, a six-off breakout was somewhere in the realm of a few hundred dollars. Today, we have a nine-off board that's sub-50 dollars. These advancements in technology have meant that what used to be a good time was two to three minutes, now we're seeing something around the 30 second mark. So anything from a digital GPS to object detection to open CV for active object avoidance, these things have really changed the competition. And we've had to tweak it over the years to make it not only more challenging, but also more inviting to the general populace. As we keep track of technology and what's changing and what new is out there, we're going to have to mold the competition to fit that technology. And who knows what we'll see in the next coming years. And they're off. All right, they're off. The ground category is running on a course much like last year, just kind of around a parking lot with the addition of a white line that we painted on the, on the, uh, the course itself. So there is the possibility for a line following a robot. The Autonomous Vehicle Competition has a special place in my heart. It is one of my favorite days of the year, just because we can all get together, and it's really a sense of community. We're building a lot of community around these kind of inexpensive, self-guided robots. Just walking around the pits is my favorite thing to do because as you just kind of walk around, you're just overwhelmed with the cool stuff that you see. It's pure insanity, pure nerdery. It's a lot of fun. You know, this, uh, this reminds me, I, I would like to uh, make sure everybody knows that there's uh, paramedics right there. That, that van is ready to go.
also, unlike last year, we split the aerial categories into two discrete categories, whether your primary lift is from a rotating blade or a fixed wing. So this kind of separates the airplane from the quad rotors, multi-rotors, helicopters, and whatnot. Plus, since the aerial category did so well last year, we added a couple more little bonuses here and there. So we actually have, I think, three balloons on the course that are about three feet in diameter. They're big red balloons, really easily identifiable by some you know, computer vision system. And if you bump a balloon, you get some points, but if you go through and actually pop a balloon, you get even more points. So it should make it a little bit more interesting, a little bit more difficult, and a lot more entertaining. <laughs> so I'm standing here with a little bit something unique here. It looks like a full-size vehicle. I'm with Mark, Mike, who's from Shark. Can you tell us a little bit, what do we got here? Well, we've got this uh, 1986 Jeep Grand Wagoneer. Its name is Trouble Child. It's my off-roading truck that I uh, have taken into the mountains many times. And we had a crazy idea in the Shark Club to enter a full-size vehicle in the ABC. Up on the roof, there is a high-precision uh, high GPS, and that gives us 60 centimeter accuracy. So we also get heading from that as well. So basically, all of the vehicle estimate comes from the GPS. And then as far as steering goes, we have a custom-designed servo that we built that runs the steering wheel. and. We have a position feedback down there on the fitment arm of the Jeep so that we know what direction the, the wheels are pointing. Ah! 
Johnny Robot. 